when the curtains are drawn, hopefully silence. So the spectators are back into the gym, they've sat down. We then open the curtains and we hope that the reaction is just a puzzled look on everybody's faces. They look at the wall and think, what am I looking at? What is this? This doesn't look like a finals wall. What have they done? Hey folks, day one of Boulder Fest 2022. So this year's theme for Boulder Fest is mystery, problem solving, puzzling. So we're leaning into the intellectual component of what is bouldering, where it, even though it's quite a physically enduring challenge, there's a lot of the mental game that you have to work through while on the wall as well. And this connection to mod, uh, body, mind, spirit, outdoors, problem solving is what we tried to capture. Scissors, paper, rock therapy. therapy. Uh, time to get up. These glasses, jacket and sweats, baby girl, that's a get up. Mm -hmm. It's chilly outside, but I'm ready to burn. Super hot fire when I move, better feel that burn. Get up before the sun is up. The the so this year the theme was puzzles and mystery. And so one aspect of puzzles and mystery is like, how do I get myself to that hole really far away when there's a person in the way? And it turns out that maybe you have to use that person to get there or they have to throw you there. Um, and then on top of that, we created a boulder with non-climbing objects. So it's like you're held against the wall by your partner and in the meantime you're searching through this towel to find the mysterious holds that might be better or worse than you expect. Time to get up. These glasses, jacket and sweats, baby girl, that's a get up. Mm-hmm. It's chilly outside, but I'm ready to burn. Rob, I enjoy brushing when I'm not sending. And that's about it, eh? Brushing. Let's go! Why are we filming a documentary on brushing? Here I come, let's work. Good morning. Get up before the sun is up, baby, let's work. What? Hi, my name is Alex. Is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions for Urban Climb Boulder Fest? Of course, Alice. How long have you been climbing for? Uh, 1973. Yeah, were you friends with, uh, with Rick White back in the day? I raised that kid. Yeah, do you are. Uh, you, you, uh, the first harness. Okay. Can you uh, talk us through your outfit? What? I woke up like this. Here's my friend. <coughs> Well, we committed crimes and now we're just paying the time, you know. Well, that's pretty good. Can you show us the crimes that you committed? Yeah, I spayed a sprayer. Beta sprayer, uh, climb shirtless, leads on holes, and dust and brush. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. You got a couple of life sentences in there. I just want it all. I just want it all. Nero, Nero, peso. Yeah, I don't discriminate, but I be talking about these. And so we talked about what puzzles and mystery means in climbing and what encapsulates that, like how we could play with that concept. So that meant breaking the mould of a finals format, like climbing format, which is typically like a slab, power, dynamic, or coordination boulders. Amazing experience. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was 
the future of climbing. We're about to get to perhaps the most exciting part of the night, the part where you meet the incredible competitors in the Boulder Fest Final. Can we please give it up for all of our amazing finalists here tonight? Woo! Spent like a minute and a half viewing the top of the women's boulder. We didn't see the F4 at the end. And so we were just like full planning out how we were going to finish the boulder. And then like right at the very last second of the two minutes, we realized that uh, we were actually finishing over on the other side of the wall. And so we just had like five seconds to piece together like half the climb. Uh, but I think we got there. Now M1 is really interesting to me because it crosses over with another climb that we'll see later on and it's just a great, great awesome spectacle. So F1 looks like puzzle pieces on the wall and you'll see that the final, finalists have to really navigate their way through it. They pull onto the wall with the in-cut bits of wood. So they climb through those pieces, have to get their left foot up onto a slanted piece of plywood and trust it. That's the probably the biggest lesson in this boulder is that you have to trust what your feet especially are doing. And then they come up to the next one, have to really trustingly match feet, step out onto another piece of wood, which isn't blocked, that's that's a good piece. And then transfer your hips and trust your feet out to the next puzzle piece. And then figuring how to get to the top hole because the top hole isn't a jug, it's another jib. And not rushing it. If you go slow and controlled and keep breathing and stay calm, you can do the boulder. But if you rush it and get too excited, then you're coming off. And Judas topping out. <laughs> Same with the GI category. It's something they've never held before and have to figure out how they climb on them. So uh, tops on all but M1. And um, pretty exciting for the crowd. We've just Ooh. got a shot of the tusks. Oh, the tusks. That looks incredible. You can see how many screws it actually needs. Turning a roof in dropping the intensity yeah. of the strength out of a roof boulder is really, really interesting. Sarah's sticking. Oh, yes! Getting the zone. Cool. This is that toe hook. Yeah. Amazing control there in the shoulders. Judah's trying to crip Crip the edge of the volume of the jumbo fins. <laughs> nice! Okay! Sarah getting the top. Oh, just effortless. Well done, Lucy. This start for M2 looks brutal. Very close to the top there. Oh. And not quite getting it. And now I think just missing the top there. On to our third boulder problem. Ooh, exciting. Now GI3 is a little bit of a coordination at the bottom. Boulder problem F3 is definitely a, a huge coordination problem as well. So we've been told this one's quite dynamic as well, coordinated, so it should take a few goes to learn yep. the athletes. An M3 just highlights the woody side of climbing. It's powerful, it really highlights the moves that they're doing and it just blends into the wall a lot. So the boulders either side of it are really like cool, crazy, 3D looking and then the roof is just the roof, you almost don't notice that it's there. Wow, well, and 
Oh, amazing. She hits it. Yes. And top? Yes. Red is possibly on the zone. So close, come on. Alright, we have a first stop for the TI3. And Red is looking incredibly happy. Fraser, incredible. Round four. Cool. One more boulder to go. One more boulder to go. Coolum esque volume stack. Very freaky climbing. So much speed, momentum coming in. Hard to stop. Look at him though. Oh my goodness. Wow. And Beck. Um, Incredible work from Beck.